Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for Friday, 4th of May 2018. Valley Bob joins us. She's having a wash, aren't you, Valentine? Just finding her way. I've tried to put a small towel down because she's making this big wedge of fur on the bed. And of course, she is judiciously ignoring the towel and kind of settling next to it and just putting her chin on it like that in a kind of thank you very much for the towel but I think I'll go here cat kind of a way now anyway Friday the 4th Friday the 4th that is definitely one for us oh hello 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 what do we need to know all zodiac signs for this readings readings for this readings excellent it is sunny the sky is blue but it's still cold so we are back to jumpers Ooh, these are interesting cards. Okay. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Hmm. The monthly readings are up, by the way, for each zodiac sign for May. So do check them out. These are really interesting cards today. We need to watch our emotional state towards the end of the week, is the message I'm getting from these. Our old friend, the Seven of Cups. In each cup is a different, equally <laughs> obscure thing. Costume jewellery, a weird dragon, a mask, a laurel wreath, a snake. All manner of jiggery pokery, okay? The big thing for this is it's fantasy. It's a seven as well, a sacred number, but also for me, a unstable kind of a number, slightly unfinished off number. An odd number, I suppose mathematicians would call it, Gemma. It's in the upright. I feel like we are beset, some of us, with emotional confusion. Three of Cups is in the reverse. This can be some kind of upset with close family or friends, colleagues at work particularly, or a significant other. It can also be just that feeling that you get sometimes um, when you just feel really ratty. You know, when you sort of, you have a day where you perhaps haven't got anything planned or you're not going to work or whatever it is, or it's the weekend or... And you're feeling ratty and you're kind of feeling all nimmy, you know, my friend used to call it nimmy because you want to go nim, 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 nim to yourself. And you kind of nim, nim, I don't want to do this and I do want to do that and nobody's around. And it's that kind of energy that I'm getting. We also have next to this the Ace of Cups in reverse. Now I'm not seeing that as a hugey or a biggie. For a few people it is some kind of just feeling a bit emotionally discombobulated and a bit like you want to see people but you want to tell them to go away as soon as they get there. That kind of feeling. You want to say to your best friends, you know, do you want to come around and sit in my house and, and I can ignore you? <laughs> and you can ignore me. <laughs> but I'll know there's someone there. You know, it feels good to just know there's someone there ignoring me and I'm ignoring them. It's that kind of dissonance. It will pass. It is a temporary nimmy energy. Again, Major Arcana the Hermit is in reverse. Sometimes Major Arcana the Hermit, you know, we're supposed to be off on the lonely crag in our sackcloth, getting enlightenment. Sometimes people, that's just too much of a tall order, especially if you're not in a very good mood. You kind of feel the calling for it, but you also kind of want company and sugar or whatever it is that is your little Achilles heel. You want to kind of placate yourself and numb it down a bit. We're only human after all. Now, major arcana strength as well, the number eight card, self-mastery. Before you can tame the lion, which is probably life itself at the moment, and all the stuff that's going on, stuff on the news, stuff with your friends, stuff with your family, stuff with your job and money and relationships, and blah, until it just gets to that 
nim 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 point self mastery is the key if you can because we have the four of swords if you can find a way to find a quiet spot and just if this was a radio nobody even has a radio anymore with a dial so I don't know why I'm doing this but I'm gonna do it anyway because I don't know if you've noticed but most metaphorical demonstrations work better with old technology <laughs> if this was a radio just turn it down tune it out tune it out I feel that this is a temporary energy even if it's about a relationship and it seems very crucial and there's tears because sometimes ace of cups is upset emotions definitely sometimes tears even if it feels that way as a good friend said to me give it 24 hours you know always give it 24 hours find something probably either social or antisocial, whatever you like as long as it's legal that you like to do that will achieve this which is just a pause you know it's a pause while the storm passes by isn't it valentine valentine who is absolutely perfectly settled next to the towel you can bet your bottom dollar if i went and got a designer wool coat or something like that and threw that on the bed that she'd be on it like you know what off a blanket she'd just be like whing ah, yes that's a bit more like it or the other thing when you wash the bed clothes have you ever done that when you've got cats don't know if dogs do it you wash the bed clothes you know you do all that rubbish with the duvet that takes ages Whoomp, it's all there it's beautiful it's ice cream you know it's all clean and the cat goes good doing <sighs> she washed the bed clothes Ooh. my mum used to have a cat called gingy gingy the three-legged cat beautiful ginger cat who when she washed the duvet used to always find a way to get inside the duvet and then used to just camp down and snuggle in the corner inside like a little little ginger cow you know it's like mm. anyway people take heart okay because the oracle card we get is blessed this is a very simple card okay it's not um it's not complicated i suppose is the word i'm looking for it's that it's not even counting your blessings which can be one of the most irritating things to do when you're in a nimmy mood it's just feeling them a bit you don't even have to name what they are just be in the blessing and if the blessing is a tub of ice cream fine or whatever your thing is let's have a oh let's have a healing with the angels oracle card and then kindly set your intentions but kindly okay nothing too ambitious chances are you're not gonna make it to the top of the rock with your sackcloth on that's okay you may make it to the bottom of the ice cream tub <laughs> Do check out your May 2018 readings that are up, okay? And share them, like them, all of that stuff. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below. Namaste.